So, uh, we were talking earlier today about how some of your camera's movements were a bit shaky when you were animating it. So there's an easy solution for this. If you already know what the camera movement is going to do, we can use a camera rail. So I'll show you how to use it. It's very similar to the camera rig. So let's just go to cinematic and let's add a camera rig rail. And for this, I like to go to the top view just to make sure that I put it where I wanted to start. So perspective top. I'm going to drag it to where I think I want to start. 90 degrees. I'm going to go to my left view, bring it down because I want to start on the floor. Okay. And I'm going to move it a tiny bit away so it's not so close. Okay. So let's go back to perspective view. So how this works is very similar to the pen tool in Photoshop or spline scene blender or Maya or whatever program you use. Uh, the only thing is it's a bit easier. So you can select your point that you want to move and then you can just press all like if you were duplicating an object and just drag it. So for me, I know I want to go about here. And then I'm going to do one more alt forward and then I'm going to move it. It's fine. Don't worry about it. And then I'm going to go about here. Okay, so now I need to make it actually fit properly. So let's see. If we go to the top view, it will make our life a lot easier. So you can see at the moment I'm well off. So I'm going to straighten my handles. You see with straighten, just align them to the same line that you're working with. I'm going to move this down a tiny bit. And again, I'm going to align it. I'm going to do the same here. I'm going to bring it down. And it's quite aligned. Okay. So I'm happy with how that's going to move. Maybe just, maybe just bring it up a bit. And then move this one to a tiny bit. Okay, and then bring this down a tiny bit. Maybe just bring it a bit so it's a bit of a sharper turn. Right. Uh, I'm going to go to my left view. Because this time I also want to make sure that I'm going up. So we can do it from the left view or your perspective. So I'm going to select the one I want to move. So I'm going to start with this one. And I go to my left view. I'm going to move it up. So I want to say, I want it to start about, end about here. I'm going to grab my next one, move it up a bit. And I want a more even movement. So I'm going to grab my handles. I'm just going to make sure that we create a nice curve for it to move on so you can see how it's becoming a nice curve uh, let's go back to perspective it's coming up but it's quite a bit during here so let's just grab this one too just bring it up a tiny bit that looks nice let's select this handle bring it a bit closer further away maybe further mm, about there okay so i have a nice movement so when I grab my position rail it's gonna go whoop there we go so what's the next thing I do uh, I need a camera to be able to move don't I so let's go to our camera so cinematic cine camera actor again I like to go to the top view to ensure that it's in the right place and I'm gonna put it in the right location so so in a bit so I know what I'm doing I want it right in the middle and I'm going to rotate it to face towards what I'm going to be looking at. Also, left view. And I'm going to bring it way up because I'm at the bottom at the moment. So, I'll to go to movement. Move in a bit and ensure that I'm in the right place. Let's move it forward a bit so I know my camera is on the actual rig. There we go. Okay. I'm going to go back to perspective. So I have my camera, I have my rig. I just need to make sure that we parent it. So grab your camera and drag it into your rig. 
and now when we move a rig now it should just move the camera alongside it so one thing that you notice same as uh, what we did before uh, is not following it remember so we need to tell it how to follow it so we can use a simple cube to tell it how to follow something so let me add a cube I'm gonna put it close to where I want the main focus to be so I'm gonna focus about there and search for visibility I'm gonna turn visibility off so then no one knows the cubes there I'm gonna grab my camera I'm gonna tell it look at tracking settings I'm gonna search for my cube and all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it on so automatically it's gonna look at it already so at the moment I think it's too high so maybe I'm gonna lower it a tiny bit so it'll look overboard so now when we look at the camera yep, that might be fine and if I were to animate the camera rig, let's see. And then it come out. Okay, I'm happy with that. So we have our camera rig. We just need to add a sequencer now. So sequence, remember you can right click and then cinematics and then level sequence, or you can add it here. Okay. I'm just here already, so I might as well add it. So cinematics, level sequence, ls underscore uh let's see gonna save it open it up and all we have to do is grab our camera rig and drag it in and one fifth is gonna be way too quick so i'm gonna slow it down a bit so let's add more frames so i'm gonna say i want for i'm gonna want 400 frames so let me click on the frames keeps clicking away for some reason there we go so now it says I have 400 frames. I'm just going to make sure that everything's on 400 and everything's on zero here. Okay. So, what we're going to tell it when I'm at zero and at zero here, we're going to create a key. Remember, you can add different keys for different things. And when I'm at 400, uh, I'm going to move it to one and then, or maybe to there when it goes to black and i'm gonna frame it again so keyframe it again so now i have a nice animation so if i were to play it first thing that we're gonna notice slowing up slowing down and then grabbing speed i don't want that easy in easy out i want a linear animation so i'm gonna go to my uh, graph view select the two keyframes i'm just gonna make it a linear interpolation so this is going to allow us now to have a nice smooth animation and it's not going to slow down so you can see it there that looks good okay uh lastly we need to add our camera so we can see what's going on so right click actor to sequencer camera actor let me save really quickly and we're going to have our cine camera actor and then our camera cuts so we were to play just to see how it's going to look then connect it there we go one thing you're noticing i am out of focus so let's fix that really quickly so let me stop this uh, let me turn this off for a minute right so selecting my camera we can do the same thing as before so if we are at zero uh, let me just make sure that i'm at zero okay I'm going to say I want to be focused on maybe this pole here, right? So let's go to my camera. Let's search for focus. Click on my eyedropper and then just click maybe on the bar here. So obviously it's going to be focusing there. And then we tell it, right, I want you to add a keyframe. So we have added a focus keyframe, right? And then next I'm going to go right as you're moving somewhere around here maybe 90 i'm gonna say right focus now on this one and then keyframe it and we're gonna move it on so about 200 i want you to focus on this one here and then keyframe it and lastly when we go to the top i want to be focusing on the cross and then keyframing it and then 
just to make sure about here 350 again don't, don't want to be on the cross still and then when i'm finishing i want to be focusing on the one that i see this so this ball here oh here maybe i'm gonna start focusing on this making everything else out of frame and then yeah let's just f out of focus here so let's just uh focus on the wall okay thank you very much so let's see how that looks focus here focus here then we're going to be focusing on this we're going up we're focusing here 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 change into this and then that's it okay so yeah so that's how you do a quick uh camera rail and then adding your camera to sequencer and then just playing with your focus okay i hope you found this helpful and then yeah see you in the next one